Italian sailors knew of America 150 years before Christopher Columbus, new analysis of ancient documents suggests. Here's a summary of the article. New analysis of ancient writing suggests that sailors from the Italian hometown of Christopher Columbus knew of America 150 years before its renowned discovery. Transcribing and detailing a circa 1345 document by a Milanese friar, Galvanius Flamma, medieval Latin literature expert Professor Paolo Chiesa has made an astonishing discovery of an exceptional passage referring to an area we know today as North America. According to Chiesa, the ancient essay, first discovered in 2013 suggests that sailors from Genoa were already aware of this land, recognizable as Markland, Markalata, mentioned by some Icelandic sources and identified by scholars as part of the Atlantic coast of North America. These rumors were too vague to find consistency in cartographic or scholarly representations, the professor states, as he explains why Markalata wasn't classified as a new land at the time. Chiesa states, Chronica Universalis, brings unprecedented evidence to the speculation that news about the American continent, derived from Nordic sources, circulated in Italy one and a half centuries before Columbus. Overall, Professor Chiesa says, we should, trust, Chronica Universalis as throughout the document Galvanius declares where he has heard of oral stories, and backs his claims with elements drawn from accounts belonging to previous traditions on different lands blended together and reassigned to a specific place. The marinari mentioned by Galvanius can fit into this dynamic. The Genoese might have brought back to their city scattered news about these lands, some real and some fanciful, that they heard in the northern harbours from Scottish, British, Danish, Norwegian sailors with whom they were trading. This post received a score of 13,000, with an up-vote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. There are two ways that Columbus might have known about Greenland. He had first-hand or second-hand conversations with Scandinavian sailors, or he looked at a map showing Greenland. Either one of the possibilities is intriguing. We are in the presence of the first reference to the American continent, albeit in an embryonic form, in the Mediterranean area, states Professor Chiesa from the Department of Literary Studies, Philology and Linguistics at the University of Milan. These rumors were too vague to find consistency in cartographic or scholarly representations, the professor states, as he explains why Marcolata wasn't classified as a new land at the time. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line on the floor. You'll know when the test starts. Cave Johnson. Holy shit. I need to read this article. It sounds nuts. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Shuffle's papers do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this. It's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Is it fluorine? I bet it's fluorine. Fluorine, the spiders of the chemical kingdom. The documents show that they knew about Markland, an area found by Leif Erikson during his voyage. What they didn't know was that Markland was a part of a large continent. They knew Markland and Vinland were part of a larger collection of lands. They also clearly explored south of Newfoundland and may have gone to the mouth of the St. Lawrence River. So they absolutely knew what they found was much bigger than they imagined. They also pissed off the Botuk peoples and could not go inland on Newfoundland without engaging in conflict with them. I think very good chance that they went much further. At least some of them, almost certainly, it's a question of whether they were ever able to survive and make it back. And the Vikings knew about it even longer. Lanceo Meadows in Newfoundland is a pretty obvious spot where pre-Columbian settlers were. They had some settlements on the southern end of Newfoundland as well, but they lasted even shorter than Lands Ox Meadows. I think they may have made it out to present-day Maine. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.